afternoon, good evening, good morning, good everything. This is Pink Poodle 2 here, and this is Maisie the Pink Poodle, the East End Pink Poodle, like me, and this is Priscilla the West End Poodle, unlike me. So together we are Pink Poodle 2. We are in the lovely fairy room, as you can see, we're a fairy. And today we're going to be doing a look inspired by a Wet n Wild um, collection to do with fire and ice. And I'm going to be doing the fire today, so it's going to be the, I'll just remove that a bit, the dragon. So these are the items we're going to be using. There's a bronzer with a beautiful dragon on, some flames. This is called Dragon Scale, and this is the um, highlighting powder, which is icy, but there's nothing I could do. It's the only one I could get, so that's that. And this is all inspired by the fantastic HBO series of Games of Thrones. If anybody's not um, familiar with it, it's R.R. R. Martin's book. That started off the fire, um, Song of Fire and Ice, which is da da. But then you've got this house that is all is on the throne at the moment that shouldn't be on there because the person who's on there was married to a Baratheon who died and it should be his heir, but she didn't have his children, his children, and it's all complicated. And I'm not going to say the plot because in case you want to watch it. So these are the houses, the main houses, apart from Baratheon, which they don't do anything with. But I have got the um, Baratheon sigil up there on my little lights. But yeah, so fire and ice. So these are the two we're worried about today. And today we're going to be doing the Dar Targaryen, which is the dragons. So I will get my face all up to speed until I have to put the bronzer on. And then we'll go from there. So, see you in a minute. Bye. First of all, I'd already done my base of my face and I went in with wet mild bronzer. And this is the one really nice dragon on it, embossed. And it's a nice sort of warm tone bronzer, but not too warm, so you can get away with quite a light hand. It's really nice to put on and it blended out very easy. I really did like it and I like the fact it had the dragon on it as well. So you can see I've done my, everything else on my face apart from my hair, shadow and bronzer. So now we're going into the Wet n Wild um, quad set which is called a limited edition called Dragon Scales. And I first went into the Brow Bone shade which is like a champagne shimmer. And I put that on my brow bone or under my brow bone and in my inner corner. Then I looked for my fluffy brush and went into the shade which is like a uh, a browny taupey colour, like transition colour, exactly what it says on the tin, it's a transition colour. And we put the transition colour into my crease on a really nice fluffy brush and just blended it out. And just kept blending it until we was happy with what we got and then going over and over again get into that sort of like motion to sort of blend it out and stuff I have no idea what I'm saying but I was saying something I was hoping to actually do this without having to do a voiceover but unfortunately I ran out of time and then I think I found my favourite brush which I got from AliExpress which is a tapered brush and I absolutely love it because it gets right into the crease and we've gone in with the greeny sort of fern shade to actually put into the crease because that one was the transition this is the actual crease one now so we've gone in lightly with it even though it's quite a dark colour and it looks more scary than it is so we've gone in with that and we've blended that out and we do a lot of blending on this one because it really does need a lot of blending I'm going on to my lower lash line with it and get more comfortable and then just keep on blending. It's a beautiful fern green sort of dragony scale type of colour you'd expect a dragon scales to look like. So we are just blend, 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 blend and blending more. 
just keep on bending. And then, see, I've got, I'm showing you my brush I've got because it fits right into the crease. And it's like, kind of like a green ferny smoky eye that we're doing, that we're trying to go for. So I've done the same on the other side, underneath the lower lash line again. Sort of like a bit more um, vibrant underneath there, and we're just going to cross the top bit with a bit of the um, transition to diffuse it slightly. I'm just going underneath the lash line again. And then I decided I was going to cut the crease so that the eyelid colour could really pop on there, so I put some concealer or. It might be the um, eyeshadow primer, I can't remember what. But I put it on there all the same so that we can put the eyelid colour on. So I can give it a really good pop. And it's the eyelid colour is kind of a, a greeny, goldy colour type thing. It's a nice colour. And then I'm just thinking about what brush to put on it. And then what did I go for? I went for like a pencil -y brush put it on I think I'll wet the brush so it'll get more intense you can see I'm patting it on pat 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 pat's not been around for ages but she's back now it looks quite dark I think I went on with the green first and then I put the probably the crease colour on the bottom lid as well make it dark and then put the um, gold over the top I think that's what I did I don't know why I did that but I did it's quite dark now we're getting a very dark dark smoky eye I'm still smoking out the lower lash line Marrying it all up, thinking, wow, that is a real dark, 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 smoky eye. And then did the same on the other, like, on the other side. So again, putting that green shade on the lid. Now I'm looking at, I'm just looking at to see what I'm doing, I don't know. So then we're just putting that all over our lid. Have I done the right thing? Yeah. So I'm putting that crease colour all over my um, eyelid. I'm just wondering if I did the right thing. It's a quite intense smoky eye. We're just smoking it all out still. Smoking it, dragging the skin it, joking. It's a good old joke in it, I'm going to smoke it out because I'm a dragon. So, you know, we're just kind of buffing it out a bit more. Trying to get it all sort of looking nice and not a mess. Hopefully it didn't look a mess. I think it, oh there you go, there I'm going on with that lid colour now. So that it really does pop on that green. So I wanted it to kind of pop a lot more than it was going to. I'm just going to leave my lid again just to re-intensify that and again just quickly going over the brow bone down my eyes again I'm going to look at that thinking you know ok so now I've gone in with the green you can be liner which I love these liners very much and just done a little wing that's right just gone there you can't really see it too much but I know it's there it's a green one very really sparkly one it's a very smoky eye in it 
my fuzzy hasn't read because it's supposed to be dragons in it and they're smoking. I like this horse is that Joe, probably. And then I've gone in with a black eye. No, I haven't. I've gone in with like a, it's like a tealy colour liner. It's from Lucky London. It's a really nice liner, AM to PM one. I think it really complemented the look. And then what did I do? I can't see what I did then. I was saying something. Where am I? I can't see for. Oh, and then I've gone in with some Lottie London glitter. This is like a little pot of glitter from Lottie London that I got. Because it was on sale. So I thought, oh, that would be nice for this look. Because, I don't know, are dragons supposed to be sparkly? In my world, they're sparkly. So anything magical, sparkly. So I'm just patting it on my own eyes. and put in my inner corner. And then I put my lashes on, which are GWA ones, vintage ones. Then I sprayed it with the Revolution Coconut Spray, which is really nice. And then what did I do? Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, and then I highlighted with the Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the limited edition called Winter Falls in LA. And this is a beautiful, beautiful icy blue colour. Absolutely love this highlighter absolutely it is one of the nicest highlights i've ever come across the blue shift in it is amazing so i really really like this eyeliner can you see that just that little tap and you can see my cupid's bow and i think look how much highlight i am i am going to be lit up in the skies as a dragon aren't i so then i went in with the the lipstick that goes with it and the lipstick is called let me see it is called Redlins 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 it's a nice metallic sort of red colour oh I went in with a lip liner I did it first then took it off then I put a lip liner on it first which is a wet and wild lip liner I'm not sure what colour that's in but it's a bit of I went around that first and then went in with the red mins. Um liquid cat suit. It's really nice, it was nice to wear as well. It's a really nice formula. And that's all the makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. And here So this is the final look. What do you think? I went a bit extra again and put some dragon scales on and some dragon earrings. And this is my homage to the mother of dragons, Daenerys, Stormborn Targaryen, using the wet and wild fire and ice highlighter, the icy highlighter, which is absolutely beautiful. Bronzer, which is a nice shade, isn't too dark. Eyeshadows look really pretty with a little bit of hint of glitter and green. And the lipstick is stunning with a lovely red metallic. So, what do you think of this look, guys? I think it turned out really well. I know I went a little bit extra with the dragon scales, but I thought, well, hey ho, in for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. So, I hope you like it. I'll come up close and show you what it looks like. I am so, I am so pleased with this look. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a pause up. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming along and watching. And even if you don't subscribe to my channel and you watch my channel, thank you so much for that as well. So thank you to my old subscribers, my new subscribers and my subscribers to come. I thought I was about to say it. And the girls are back. What do you think, girls? Yes, I'm a pink dragon. <laughs> So, and what else you got to say? I said, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and I hope that we'll see you soon and the next one. So, take care everyone. Till next time. Bye. Mwah. Oh, you kissing her there. Bye.